Yaush channel. Um, we didn't get too many entries. I think it was 12, but chosen five at random um, to review. And I've looked over them because some of them were speed arts and I kind of wanted to look at them before um, I, show, I gave my review just because I didn't want to sit there watching three or four minutes um, whilst recording. So without further ado, let's just jump in. And I've got all the tabs open here. And the first one is free 3D intro for community channel CODs Circle. And this is the intro here. And what I like about it um, is the initial white texture uh, is quite nice. You've got some nice shadows here. Um, yeah, uh, some good rendering, but something that can be improved is A, the background. Um, doesn't really look that great. You've got this line going across here, making it look like it's kind of in this room. Uh, and this circle looks like it's on the floor, but this kind of object wouldn't really stand up. And you've got little bits coming here, like kind of going through the floor. Um, it's all very basic uh, kind of texturing and the reflection is too reflective uh, so it actually kind of distracts uh, the viewer because this is almost just as visible upside down as it is the right way up. So maybe add a bit of fall off using either blurry reflections or Fresnel um, on the floor or Fresnel and that will really make it look a bit better. Uh, the font I'm not a big fan of either but it's nice um, I'm sure you're just beginning beginning to learn uh, motion design but um, a few things can be worked on and it's all about practice really so the next one we have is German Top Gameplays intro by Relict Arts um, what I like about this is definitely the texturing, uh, really nice, I don't know if it's, uh, oh yeah, it is Element 3D, um, really nice texturing, I like it, uh, which is what Element does uh, really well and really easily. Um, what I don't really like about it too much is the sheer amount of blur, and it kind of looks a little bit out of place. Because if you were to take a photograph of this, you wouldn't get this horizontal stripe of blur. You get more of a vertical uh, kind of little strip of like sharpness and then blur either side. Uh, so it looks a little bit unnatural and very strong. Um, normally you get this kind of blur if you're taking a photograph, uh, a macro photograph or something really close up. And you're tr I think you're trying to get the impression that it's uh, really big. Um, and normally really large objects don't have that much blur. Because um, if you know um, anything about lenses and cameras, uh, normally you'd have to shoot uh, quite a large distance. And you don't really get too much blur with that kind of photography. But really nice. Uh, the only issue I have is it's a little bit too dark, um, re it, it blends into the background and you only really get this highlight on the edge, um, and so it doesn't really stand out too much, especially with this white white edge appearing, um, which kind of makes this kind of look, well, it, it doesn't make it stand out at all, so with a bit more lighting and Maybe change the colour correction so it isn't so faded. It'll look really nice, but great job um, using Element 3D. Next we have Rex Clan's intro by Free Fall Design. I'm gonna try it out. Okay. And we've got classic dubstep and CC lens. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try it out. Okay. I really like the um, the kind of shockwave that comes out the side 
really nice. Um, some nice uh, revealing of the text as well. Uh, and the twitch makes it kind of look a bit crazy. Uh, really fits with the music as well. And you've got these dancing particles going all over the place, kind of giving a little bit of atmosphere. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice job. Uh, not a giant fan of the link revealing itself like that. Um, I've never really seen the point of putting links on an intro, especially if it's an intro to a video on their channel, because chances are they're watching it, um, so they're already on their channel. So they don't really need the link. It's nice to have like their name, but links to me seem a little bit unnecessary. But overall, pretty nice job. Next we have... The Time Spectre with logo in V2. Again, I'm going to turn it down a bit. Um, it's a really nice part. I'm a big fan of the explosion. Um, really nice reveal. It's, it's a shame that, well, I'm not a big fan of the text, but I guess if it's like your logo. Um, it's really nice. I really love um, the whole atmosphere. The flare's nice. It's got a bit of flicker, but it's not too much, which I know a lot of people uh, kind of overdo. The particle trails are really nice, and the explosions. I really like the uh, kind of shock wave that comes out here. Uh, this kind of disc, and uh, all these lines coming out. Maybe I would have, like, if I'm being picky here, um, or maybe would have liked a kind of shock wave kind of sphere so you wouldn't get all these lines you maybe get a bit of line but not so much and so it kind of fades out so what you're left with is a kind of destroyed uh, space atmosphere with uh, yeah a bit like that <laughs> if I got a bit further um, but maybe it lasts a little bit too long I'm not, I'm not sure um, I personally would have personally would have kept it with the space background uh, like you had uh, like you had a bit before before it went completely to black but really nice job ah. um, really like the space explosion so great job there and finally we have our first speed art and this is by Mr. Drewby um, 420 um with his GTA 5 and Saints Row 4 uh, photo manipulation. And I really liked it. Um, great. I actually it too, yeah. uh, really liked how you pen the guy who was on one card and placed him onto another one. Um, I thought this was building up to give it this kind of poster feel and really worked with the lights here uh, nicely um, I think we may have struggled a bit trying to get these windows lined up perfectly and that's why Great job, I've never been that great with manipulations, so I probably wouldn't have got as far as this. So, really nice job, and yeah, so this has been um, episode one. Um, if you want a bit of feedback for your work, I'd love for this series to continue. Um, so if you leave a video response to this video, um, I'll do the same next week. Hopefully we get more entries every time, and... If you could just leave a comment whether you liked it or not, whether you want to continue seeing this, that'd be great. Um, just so I can get some feedback myself. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next week.